Okay, I thought I'd do a quick update of where I am with the uh, with the R2. I've uh, mounted the the uh, feet onto the uh, the wheels onto the onto the uh, the legs, I suppose, or arms or whatever you want to call it. I've had to completely rejig the way this put in because uh, the motor, which is, I'll show you if I just open this up. I've now got that to swing out. Um, the uh, motor arm for the dome, which is at the top, was fouling the whole thing. So uh, I've uh, moved it onto the other side. I've shrunken, uh, I've tore out these cables in so they don't uh, stop fouling. Uh, I've cut in the hinges on this side into the into the uh, plate so it, move, it sits over more that side uh, and um, so it basically swapped it around and put uh, uh, I'm gonna have some um, just uh, twist nuts to go on there to just hold it in place so it now actually opens that's as far as it'll open um, but uh, it, it opens without catching on the on the arm for the uh, the dome motor um, so that's where I am uh, I'll just pan down you can see I've got the feet on there uh, the the wheels on there uh, and I've cabled to them um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with these cables so I might have to sort of hide that or bring that around a bit or something uh, these connectors wouldn't slot through the holes in there so I've had to cut the uh, I'll pan it around in a minute so I've had to cut the cable um, and I've just chopped locked it back together to feed it through uh, these are just bolted on temporarily because these, these would obviously glue on this is now glued together um, I've just uh, drilled a hole through there just to hold that in place so with a bolt that will come out because uh, ultimately that will glue and there's, a, there's an extra piece to go on there and there's extra bits to go on there so I will um, just turn it around and I'll show you I've just swung it around a little bit uh, you can see the cable going down there's a chop block in there um, these are magnetised on as you probably know uh, with the magnets on there um, I'll sit in there I'm I've put I've glued in magnets into these pieces as well. These go on there. There's uh, a magnet actually being uh, glued in there at the moment. It's got araldite in there, uh, you know, two part uh, glue. Uh, so that's just holding those magnets in place till that goes off. This the I put these in yesterday, so they've been um, they've been glued. I haven't actually glued that in yet. I must finish off these. Uh, these aren't sort of. Uh, painted or anything so I didn't get a chance to do any painting this year but um, and now winter's come I'm not sure if I will get any painting done but obviously they, they will fit in there um, the next thing I've got to do oh I've, I've set it in this box just for the time because I've got the base wheel is on there as well you can't see it but uh, inside the, the centre wheel is on so it is actually ready to uh, do a test on um, obviously these are the two cables that come in from the legs on either side uh, under here when well, that's pushed back that's the the dome motor uh, but if this was back in there these are the two feeds off the board into those which will go into there the batteries will sit in the middle there I've just got it on charge at the moment I'm just recharging the batteries and then I'll put them back in there I'm going to put it on the floor the whole thing on the floor shortly because I'm going to work on this dome because that's never properly rotated I was going to bash into the, the gear at the moment so I won't do that but that's never properly smoothly rotated so there's quite a bit of well, there's loads of things still to do but um uh, I will show you once the batteries are charged up I will do um show you the the wheels working um then I'm going to put it on the floor and so I can get uh, so I can work on the dome properly because it's a bit high up but it sits in here perfectly with the lower wheel on there um, so that worked out quite quite easily using one of those black boxes um, so that's it for the second okay I'll show you how far I've got with the uh, R2D2 I've, I've taken it off the table I put it on the floor as you can see um, I've now mounted the um, the dome motor just inside there uh, I've got the battery in the bottom there just temporarily I've got the board on um, on the back uh, I've actually got the, the legs mounted as you can see which I had on the other day but uh, I've got the dome motor itself connected uh, and I've been doing some tests so let me quickly show you the results over here as you can see I've got 
PlayStation. Let's just go back over here. All right, so if we, if we go that way. Inside of it. So just to show you what I'm doing, I've just connected this to the uh, L1 and L2 uh, buttons on the remote, which are the only two I can get to to respond to the uh, EZB program. I can't get these bottom ones to respond or connect them into. You can see them working, but I can't work out to allocate those two buttons. So I've got the uh, forward. And uh, as I'm holding the camera, I can't actually do the other one, but uh, hold up. And that's the other one. Now, I've got the um, speed I can adjust. Well, I can't adjust it live, but I can adjust it in the settings uh, by just the numbers I have away from the stop setting. So, uh, 86, I think, is stop. So, anything above that goes one way, anything below that goes the other way. So, I'm on 78 and 92, I think. Uh, which gives me quite a slow rotation, which is probably about right. So if we... Uh, what I'm going to do now actually is I'll connect up the, uh, the, 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 the wheels and we'll try that as well, because you can see they're both, they're both on there. So I'm going to go off camera for a second and try that. Before I connect up the wheels, I thought I'd just put the actual dome itself on, which I hadn't tried. So here's, uh, let's have a go at that. So that's rotating that way. Now you can hear it's, it's not that smooth, so I've still got to work on the dome. It's the dome section that's slightly catching. I think I've got the motor working faster uh, on that, that way around anyway, so that's probably why it's slightly rotating clockwise a bit more. Now it sounds like it's, it's struggling a little bit occasionally. So if I take that dome off, it's just sitting on this, it's quite tight on there. Uh, so I think it's just slightly still catching on the side of the metal because there's less um, less catching, you know, less friction noise when I go uh, without the dome. So anti-clockwise, I've got it. Is certainly the motor's running slightly slow, but I can adjust that in the in the software. So these are not these don't have acceleration on them. These uh, these buttons. So that is L1. So if I made L1 go slightly faster, uh, which I can do, just bear with me. Right, let's try that. Oh yeah, you can see the speed difference there. So that's, that's uh, anti-clockwise and that's clockwise. So I might even want to speed that one up slightly as well. Try the dome back on it again, but I've been looking at tools on the floor. I've been shaving these edges off, which I, I think I showed in an earlier video, because they're slightly catching, still catching the outside of this rim. Let's try that. 
Okay, it's still a bit noisy. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't sound too happy that side. It's catching there somewhere. Yeah, and that's slightly jumping, so let's take that off again. I've actually only got one uh, fixing in that, which probably isn't helping either. So without the dome, and it's working. I've only got that top bolt uh, tightened up in the in there, but uh, so that's quite a success. So let's try the wheels. Uh, I haven't actually tried them on the unit, so I'm just going to go off camera for a minute. Connect up the other cable because if I just pan down, I've just got. Let's just see what I've got going on the bench. Just got my Easy B there. Um, just connected to the uh, uh, one of the one of the drive boards. So I'm going to. I'll go back around, uh, I'll connect, because I haven't got that easy to be mounted in the unit, so I will connect up the, uh, the uh, legs and we'll try that. So I'm just going to go off camera. Okay, it's a low level picture of the, of the wheels, so I've got them working. I'm turning off the joystick. Okay, they, they can see the insides. I've, I'm using the battery holder, as you can see, that's Ebel's battery holder, which is slotted in the bottom. I'm still only running at 12 volts, um, and um, this can go up to 18 volts. I mean, so I'd have to put a uh, voltage uh, reducing uh, interface on there anyway. But uh, so 12 volts is probably about right for that. It, I think it can run about 16 volts optimal, so maybe a bit more power on that. You can see the back of the board, um, you see the cables coming in, uh, and let me just. Uh, Show you work it again. Turn up it. I've ordered the slip ring for here. Uh, it's the one thing I'd forgotten to order, and they're on like uh, three week delivery time from eBay, so I'm waiting for those. Um, but that's not holding me up at all. So that's all mounted in. When I mounted the board originally, um, which you can probably see in earlier shots, I completely forgotten about this assembly. I was thinking it mounted from somewhere else. So I've actually had to modify the way the board works and cut a bit uh, out there so it fits in, uh, which wasn't too bad. Move it over, move the hinges onto this side, which you can just see, you can see, in the, you can see the back of the hinges in there, uh, on this side of it, so it pivots that way, which is, again, no problem. I'd wanted to adjust and cut the board in slightly anyway, because I had the board slightly offset, so it's now equal um you know uh, front and uh, left and right effectively by just cutting it into there which i've been planning to do anyway so uh, modifying those was no big uh no big problem um and i managed to get that to fit uh this was really graunchy as well just without the the top uh, but i remember these actually come ungreased so i used some silicon uh uh, oil on these just now some silicon spray and the and um, it's mounted on there so I can't spin it manually but the difference it made was huge this will this spins quite nicely loose now uh, so the only problem I've still got is the is the um, dome still slightly catching the outside of outside of this um, and I think that's just a question of just scraping that inside because um, it gets better but it's still catching a few times and I don't want to overheat the, uh, the motor but um, I'm pleased with that. That seems fairly smooth. Got to make sure the height, I had to adjust that down slightly because it almost whacked into there. Um, that's easy enough. Um, as I say, anti-clockers I've got in software going a bit faster. I could have these proportional speed um, if I could uh, attach them to the, um, the these triggers on the, on the uh, um, uh, on the PS4, but I can't work out how to do that at the moment, so there might be a way. But these triggers do come up in software, so um, as, as available controls. So it might be this handset, or I might need to see if I can um, software change the controls slightly, which I think you can do. I think you can reallocate the controls, but I haven't really uh, worked out how that works. So I'm going to have a look at that. Um, as I say, this one 
is, is, is we hear the wheels going. That's doing the wheels. This is not uh, controlled in, is seen in Easy B, but it, it doesn't do anything in Easy B. Again, so if I can allocate that to something, I might check on the forums if there's a way to do that. So I haven't worked out how to control these two or the uh, or, or that one, but uh, these I can get to, uh, to work. And when you release it, I've got a stop. So that's going forward by uh, X amount of speed and that coming out you can have a second stop on that which takes it to zero well not zero but 70 it's all midway between its its uh, speed because one is uh, reverse and 100 and whatever it is is, is 150 or something is forward so mid uh, um, stop is 86 on on this it varies depending on the type of server you're using so I've, I've used continuous servers and stop was at 75 so you just got to sort of adjust it to to suit your controller um it's probably a better way to do it but i haven't quite worked out that yet um so that's i'm really pleased with that because um i haven't had a chance to really get going on this for a while so uh this is a real success for the weekend so i'm very pleased um next thing to do obviously to get that dome to fit properly which is an ongoing issue um i haven't all this the whole thing's not glued together still so i've got the lower part and the upper part separate uh, it rings uh, the lower ring is separate which makes it a lot easier to lug around at the moment because it's really heavy um, and I could bolt it if I can show you just zoom in. I don't know if we can zoom in enough but there are some possible bolt holes um, if I just go around a bit you can see a hole at the back there just bring up the dead centre of the thing, um, just in, there's a bolt there, bolt hole, which you, I could bolt the two uh, lower and uh, uh, the lower section up, which I might do and then just leave it unglued, see if they're strong enough, maybe I'll just reinforce them or something. Um, but there's about three or four bolt holes, all that was more than that, so it's about six all the way around. Uh, so that might be the easiest way to transport the thing and then take it apart. Um, I've glued on the sides. Let me just go off camera and move the camera. Well, I've just swung it around just so you can see the sides. Um, but I've now got these uh, on there. I've still got to glue this together properly. Slightly twisting up there. But I've glued uh, these. So get them in camera. Uh, these, which I was doing yesterday, the previous video, just they're aerodited in. So that will now magnetically clip into there. These are clipped on with magnets so they go on what else have we got uh that's it really for the uh this weekend's work last uh, last few days work but um obviously the big success was getting the um that most of work Because that's caused me more problems than anything. Mainly to, I could get it to sort of work with direct controls off software, uh, off the Easy B, which I'll go. I'll do a whole video on that, just so how it's how that's actually controlled. But uh, um, but getting it to um, be controlled by the the PS4 was was the issue. Uh, so I'm really pleased about that. Um, okay, well that'll do for the minute.